Very interesting. So, let's talk about listings. Uh, all eyes on MTN, uh, Nigeria, Unit IPO, a public offer, what are they going to do, debt, or they will do NAC listing, we all hoped, six months, now behind us, we have another six months to look for this, whether it will happen or not. Uh, Dangote Cement also spoke about possible London Stock Exchange uh, listing, perhaps some share sale as well uh, in the year. Do you think uh, these are which to keep hopes uh, alive for these two major transactions, one on the telecom side, the other on the industrial goods side? Well, let's start on the Dangote side. Uh, I was there when Dangote made that statement that he met, uh, he put a, a caveat and that, or a condition and said that that listing will likely happen after the 2019 election, that he believes that if we try to approach the London Stock Exchange, now investors will be wary of investing in a Nigerian asset at the time that is preceding an election. And though that he doesn't expect any material thing to change at the result of the election, but he believes in terms of perception by investors in the London Stock Exchange, that the most appropriate time should be after the election. So in that case, I do not think the Dangote listing in um, uh, London Stock Exchange will happen earlier than the um, second quarter of next year. Then on the MTN uh, offer, it looks like the MTN offer may be caught up by the heightened political activities. I was thinking it will happen in the first half of this year. It has not happened. I think what the MTN wants to do in the first instance is to, um, to do a listing uh, by introduction or an offer for sale. Uh, and there's something in the for subscription. Um, I, I don't imagine that if this, that offer delays to the last quarter of this year, it will take place. Because at that point, you should expect, like I mentioned earlier, that investors will be wary of variable income assets, including equity, equity instruments, and that they prefer fixed income instruments. Granted that, the, that um, MTN's listing is to comply with some of the terms they read in the settlement of the dispute on, uh, on uh, non-compliance with the NCC regulation. Uh, but I, I believe that if it doesn't happen in the next two, two months or three months, it may not happen this uh, fiscal year. That would be quite disappointing. Uh, uh, if we don't have any uh, major listings before the end of this year. So uh, on the listing side, on the privatization side, it looks like the, the door is closing for the equities market in 2018, technically speaking, on any of the big uh, stories we, we've been following since the new year started. So let's uh, put this before the monetary authorities and see from your mind, uh, and as a CEO and a trader and an investment advisor, what do you expect? What do you think could come in from the monetary side? Would that be interest rate tinkering? Would that be a cash reserve ratio, liquidity ratio tinkering? What do you think could happen between now and the end of the year to give the equity side of the street some buoyancy? Well, um, the major thing that the monetary policies can, uh, policy authorities can do is to bring down um, the monetary benchmark rate uh, from the current 14%. But I also, I also begin to believe that it's looking unlikely. And the reason is that um, the capital essential budget is what we start in NS. And that will inject a lot of liquidity into the economy. The monetary policy authorities seem to be bent on maintaining exchange rate stability. We are dealing with a period of pullback of foreign portfolio investors, so which means the flow of capital from foreign portfolio investors will decline, if not reverse. Uh, so the central bank will be struggling to maintain exchange rate stability. At such point, I do not imagine that they will want to inject a lot more liquidity into the economy that will put pressure on the Naira. So I, I doubt um, if the Philip uh, um, that the market will require will come from the monetary authority. I'd like to come from the fiscal side because the fiscal side is bound to this board um, for the capital expenditure implementation. And um, that should bring the good into the system, uh, which could uh, encourage investors to look for ways to put their money in. Like I mentioned earlier, we should expect a lot of those money to go into um, fixed income instrument. But then, the blue chip companies should actually see the beneficiaries of um, uh, improved liquidity in the economy. Uh, Johnson Chuku, Chief Executive Officer at uh, Curry Asset Management, thank you very much for your time the, today, and uh, we wish you all the best in the second half of the year. Uh, let's uh, uh, get back to what's making the headlines and what to look at for in the second half. We're yet to have a closure on the June FAC meeting. So, the world of words continue between the State Oil Corporation, the NNPC, 
I'm the members of the uh, Federal Council Allocation Committee, of course, chaired by the uh, Finance Minister and the 36 commissioners of finance of the 36 states of the Federation, including the FCT, over the remittance figures which the NFPC brings to the table. That meeting deadlocked on June the 28th. The office of the vice president and the president have been briefed by the finance minister, but the uh, resolution is yet uh, to uh, come by. So we're now looking at the office of the vice president who is in charge of the economy to uh, give us a closure and bring a figure to the table for this uh, June sharing. Meantime, we'll be talking about the budget 2018 fiscal appropriations to spending. It's expected to start this month. All eyes on Kemi Adioshin's finance ministry for half a trillion naira first injection into the economy. What these projects will be, we're looking for some briefings from our office, including the capital, ro capital projects rollover from the unfinished business and budget of 2017. Meantime, the government is moving on with its social investment program, the microcredit. All those who will be involved, you heard last week about what the Bank of Industry is advising all those who want to become agents in this micro lending uh, to the folks at the bottom of the pyramid to step forward. And that in, uh, moving will also include the conditional cash transfers which the government uh, plans to do. Meantime, 2.8 billion US dollars is what the Nigerian authorities are looking to raise via Eurobond in the second half of this year. Technically speaking, that bunch before the year ends has to pull all them, those monies into the 2018 uh, fiscal budget, uh, I'll try to uh, plug the deficit there. And of course, you heard about the asset sale and privatization. You've heard uh, two of CEOs this morning, Bismarck Awani and Johnson Chiku says the door is a little bit closing on the government. They're trying to do this privatization uh, this year before the elections. Meantime, Nigeria has the honors next week to host the 2018 honor meetings of the Africa Export Import Bank, the 25th anniversary of this Pan-African Trade finance organization will also take place in Nigeria's political capital, Abuja. Thousands of heads of state, finance uh, folks, business leaders, policymakers, uh, and trade finance logistics organizations will discuss uh, celebrating the past, shaping the future of this uh, organization. There will be seminars, panels, forums, trade exhibitions, and all of that is going to be a little bit heavy on that. And uh, you look forward to a China celebration being part of that uh, for you. In the meantime, today, we're looking at the stock exchange uh, taking off its new market structures, which will include, in the main, the equity side of the market. The rest will be derivatives. Uh, not much there, but equities will be uh, what we're looking at. The exchange is looking to enhance liquidity, transparency, uh, price disclosure, and what you call a level playing field for everyone at the marketplace. Meantime, we're looking at MTA Nigeria unit you heard earlier. Uh, $500 million IPO and the listing on the stock exchange. Uh, that may get cut up in the run-up to the 2019 general elections, like electioneering period, as well as the uh, planned Dango Testament in London uh, listing. That may also not take place until 2019. Uh, let's come back to you after the break. You're watching Business Morning. And, of course, we have a little bit more to talk about, about financial technology and Nigeria's collaboration with the IMF and the World Bank. Thank you.